Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys smash that like button, also subscribe to the channel. Right now, I'm on my website, boxingego.com. I wrote an article, link in the description. I want to talk about that particular article. And again, if you want to read the full write up, then head over to the website. Now, this is about Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather. Conor McGregor, his own trainer, John Cavanaugh, he's saying that Conor McGregor has already started training. Now, the fight is not made public. It's not 100% done deal. We don't know. But he believes, Conor's trainer believes that the fight will, in fact, happen this year. And he says they're going into it with the mindset that it will happen. And he's trying to get his fighter best prepared for that particular fight. So John Cavanay did an interview with Fox Sports News 500. There's a link here if you click the hyperlink. It's a Australian version of Fox Sports. And I'm going to read a direct quote. He said, in my mind, it's on. That's the mentality we're in. There's a lot of fingers in the pie with this one. There's different promotions, different organizations. There's different commissions that are involved. So he's talking about this is not Chad Mendez versus Conor McGregor. This is not Eddie Alvarez. Those fights are easier to make. Why? Because they're all within the UFC organization. You know what I mean? It'd be like the UFC working with Bellator. But it's even bigger than that because you have two big stars in each respective discipline. And it's not even the same sport. So even the Bellator UFC example is a little bit different. So anytime you have multiple organizations and stuff like that, it could be harder. Now, this is Conor McGregor picture with his trainer on his Instagram. And he said, Ireland, we did it. It's an old post. And he says, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm really convinced it's going to happen this year. And that's the mindset I have. Let the people in the suits worry about the paperwork we're training for it so he's saying it's his job to prepare conor mcgregor and they're preparing trying to keep him in shape and working on what they feel that they need to work on to fight pound for pound number one guy this generation's best boxer floyd mayweather jr easy work i don't know who you be i don't know who you lost to money may now he said something earlier in a previous interview and he clarified it he said it got kind of bent out of shape and people took it out of context but he basically did a previous interview where he said that this will be easier this fight training for this fight this fight camp and he says i said a quote but it was kind of taken out of context i said it would be simpler training for boxing but what i mean is that boxing is only one of the 10 skills you need for mixed martial arts but now we're only doing boxing so we could drop wrestling and jujitsu and Thai boxing we could focus on boxing and I mean I see where he's going because obviously the MMA mixed martial arts so it it's encompasses multiple different styles from around the world and you know what I mean some guys do karate like Wonder Boy some guys are just great wrestlers the Daniel Cormier, some people like the Ronda Rousey, they do the judo, jujitsu, and you know what I'm saying? So there's different disciplines. I get that. Some people work on their striking, like George St. Pierre works with Freddie Roach, things like that, until they get boxing coaches. So he's saying, hey, we don't have to have a separate coach who specializes in everything. I get that aspect, but I disagree in the sense of, I don't think it's going to be an easy training camp the way he made it sound, like just because I understand you can throw those things to the side but focusing only on boxing that's good but you're also going up against the guy who people who've boxed their whole life some people can't even touch floyd mayweather you know what i mean guys like Berto who have amateur careers guys like pacquiao who's been fighting in the philippines and then came over the states and ran through guys so guys that have been boxing their whole life so i, I think maybe a poor choice of words i wouldn't say the training camp would be easier it's going to be less disciplines that you have to work on and even though you get to focus all it's it's still there's certain things that you have to learn over time so i don't know if it'll be easy i mean i've seen the conor mcgregor sparring and he didn't necessarily look great but conor mcgregor's confident he did an interview recently he went to mike Connellan's fight in new york st patty's day weekend and he was like the whole world doesn't know he's like i'm gonna take this boxing game by storm things of that sort 
and we'll see we'll see what happens here's the actual video of him saying it, everything conor mcgregor's trainer he's this is another quote he said when he brought this challenge to me i kind of had to shake my head and smile he's done so well in mixed martial arts but that's being conor also the mentality around you can't do that we grow up hearing that you can't be in ireland and get a fighter to the ufc level you can't fight for a ufc belt without having a wrestling background so he's saying conor mcgregor that's his dna to disprove people when they think he can't do something so i like that conor mcgregor has a good fighter mentality and i talk about in the article i kind of talk about the multiple feelings some fans are like this is blasphemous this is ridiculous and I think people are putting too much on it. You know what I mean? And I, I said, at the end of the day with Mayweather, it seems some fans will never be in unison and completely happy with any decision he makes. If he fights Marcos Maidana, they say he should have fought Amir Khan, who won the poll. If he fights a youthful, much younger, def undefeated champion at the time, Canelo Alvarez, they say Canelo's too green or inexperienced. So, I mean, it's always, it seems like it's always something when it comes to Mayweather and, and victories. Oh, he should have fought Pacquiao years ago. But why were people and writers picking Pacquiao to knock Mayweather out when they finally did fight if they should have fought five years ago? It's again, these are excuses, right? And that's what it boils down to. Cotto's damaged goods. But then why did people want to see Cotto versus Canelo years after he fought Mayweather? You know what I'm saying? And Cotto beat Sergio Martinez years after he lost to Floyd. So, you know what I mean? It's just always going to be something. So, I think Floyd Mayweather, of all people, him being Money May, he's probably just in the mindset of, like, if it don't make if it don't make money, then I'm not really, I don't really care. You know what I mean? I'm not going to get credit nowhere. I've accomplished more than what past greats who get revered have done. I beat more world champions, former world champions, things like that. So... Why, might as well cash out, look after my team, my family, and make a lot of money. And, I mean, at the end of the day, he's proven a lot. And he beat Pacquiao, and Pacquiao's fighting a Jeff Horn. So, like, if you look at it, like, to me, it's not it's not all too different. You know what I mean? It, it, except, to me, the Jeff Horn makes a lot less money and does a lot less pay-per-view buys than than Mayweather McGregor because like I said whether you like it or not this odd crossover fight should it happen will entertain and make money boxing versus UFC will bring in two varying fan bases and different demographics fans can kick and scream but this fight itself will draw in casual fans that I believe do great numbers many of the fans who complain now will certainly be watching the face-offs press conferences and weigh-in which means the fight will have done what it was supposed to do make money and that's what i really believe people i mean you look at it what boxing fans have suffered through crazy stuff Cotto versus kirkland two guys who lost to canelo in their very last fight and were on long layoffs that was going to be hbo pay-per-view right you, you got to put this in perspective people oh mayweather versus i get it conor mcgregor's not a boxer i don't think he can beat floyd mayweather but i mean it's it's fighting floyd's 40 years old or whatever i don't personally think it but I, I feel the same way with really all the welterweights so i mean it, it doesn't really change i think floyd is just a cut above i mean when he's fighting guys like berto berto's about to be in a good fight this month that i think he might be able to win sean porter can win but it should be a good fight right but when you fight berto berto and mayweather then floyd just dictating the pace he's sticking his tongue out at Berto's company or girl or whoever that was in the crowd. He's looking up at the clock. He's dodging punches and making Berto look slow, a guy who I've watched train and looks really fast. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's Floyd is Floyd. That's, that's kind of what it is. So it's not even just the fact that it's Conor McGregor. I think anybody in his weight, around his weight, 147, I don't even think Keith Thurman would beat him. You know what I mean? And at one time, I thought not that Keith Thurman would beat him, but I thought it would be maybe he could push him. But I really don't see that now. You know what I mean? After watching the, the fight with Danny Garcia and the Colossal fight, I mean, I really don't see him fucking with Floyd. And I like Thurman. I like Thurman a lot, but, I mean, that's my honest opinion. And I definitely don't see Danny Garcia beating him. That style clearly gives him problems. In and out movers, guys with long arms that are quick and athletic, like the Peterson fight, a good jab like Herrera. That's what Mayweather has a good jab. You know what I mean? Mayweather's a complete fighter, stuff like that. So, I mean, people sweat it and complain. And at the end of the day, 
I don't really see Thurman or Garcia, Pacquiao in a rematch. I don't see them guys beating him either. Tim Bradley, I don't see them beating Floyd either. So it's not even just a Conor McGregor thing. Now, you could say Conor McGregor really doesn't have a chance because he doesn't have the boxing background like those guys, which is fair. But at the end of the day, people will tune in. And if you got to look at it from a boxing perspective, you could say, oh, you're making excuses. Prove me wrong. Floyd Mayweather fighting Conor McGregor, mark my words, I will bet anybody that it will do better numbers if it does in fact happen than Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn. But that's a fight we're likely getting. They're Team Pacquiao, Conks and all them, are saying that Pacquiao's on board now and he's going to sign the contract. So who wants to see that? You know what I mean? So you can't even justify that in the States. You can't even make that fight in the state. They're talking about Conor McGregor and Mayweather, two guys who migrated to Las Vegas, happening in Las Vegas. I'm telling you, I've seen Conor McGregor's weigh-ins. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be lit, whether people have give Conor McGregor a chance or not. And the funny thing is, on top of Conor McGregor talking trash and Mayweather talking trash about and both of them doing it, there's really Conor McGregor fans out there. And I'm a fan of Conor McGregor, but I don't think he'll win. But there are Conor McGregor fans who are saying he'll destroy Floyd and he'll beat him. So people will buy it. You know what I mean? But I can't say the same. I don't think Pacquiao, Jeff Horn, is going to make some astronomical numbers. Now they're talking about putting Cotto's next fight not on pay-per-view on regular HBO. But listen to the opponent options, right? Cotto has a great resume. But comma guy? Really? And people are complaining about Mayweather versus Conor McGregor, which we know at least will de develop um, a following and, and people are going to want to see it and, and it'll provide a pre-fight buildup and entertainment. And if Conor McGregor does as bad as some people think, then, you know, I mean, you might even see a Floyd Mayweather knockout, but maybe Conor McGregor can prove people wrong and, and have a Madonna type of scrap where it's like, wow, he really pushed him. We don't, I mean, we don't really know everyone has their opinion beforehand and you, you got to just look at it like people are, like i said i think people are just putting too much emphasis on the fact that it's conor mcgregor is not a boxing a permanent boxer but at the end of the day even guys who box their whole life a lot of them are fucking with floyd you know what i mean so it's, it's not really different it's just the fact is like i said it before on a monday mail day a lot of you guys give Conor McGregor no shot, and as a result, you're mad because you want Floyd to lose. You want somebody who you feel has the best chance of beating him. And if you don't give that person any chance, just like Madonna, I told people on my channel, the videos are still up, I told people Madonna was going to be a tough fight. Madonna has a slept on resume, been in there with Amir Khan, Prime Victor Ortiz, Eric Morales. Josecito Lopez just got off of uh, nearly stopping Adrian Broner, who was primed to be the next big thing in boxing. And I told people Madonna's going to be a tough fight. They didn't listen. They say, oh, this is a cherry pick. He should have fought Khan. He stayed away from Khan because of his speed. And in my opinion, I think, I really think the Madonna fight would probably be harder than, than Amir Khan. Obviously, he didn't fight Khan, so I don't know. Madonna's just tough, rugged, bigger reckless willing to go out on his shield con can box but mayweather i mean it's hard to outbox mayweather i mean i know it's hard to outbox con but i just think ring iq you have to give uh floyd that that credit and all these people built up the pacquiao fight and madonna end up doing better than pacquiao did you know what i mean there were no there were no even real crazy moments i mean the one round where he kind of stunned floyd and that was it and then it was short-lived and Mayweather calmly walked himself to the ropes, did the Josh Clotty turtle shell, covered up and let Pacquiao punch for no reason while he was blocking the majority of it. And then that moment passed. And then later in the fight, Pacquiao is trying to unload while he has Mayweather on the ropes. And Mayweather's like, nope, nope. So, I mean, realistically, I think people are doing too much, especially if, as boxing fans. They were going to put fights like Cotto Kirkland. Last year, they did put fights like Canelo versus Liam Smith, Canelo versus Amir Khan, and this is just the worst thing ever. You know what I mean? So, again, I'm not I'm not saying that Conor McGregor has a chance because I don't think even boxers have a chance. Like, you know what I mean? Even boxers in this division have a chance. So, to me, it really boils down to people want to see Floyd Mayweather lose, and that's, that's really what it boils down to. 
and whoever they feel has the best chance of doing that then that's that's who they're going to push for whether it was Sergio Martinez at one point if it was Gennady Golovkin now whoever you think can beat Floyd that's who people want to see him fight even if it's at different weights they don't care because I guarantee you this whole fight with Conor McGregor right if he does fight him Conor McGregor has fought at 170 so you know he's, he's a big dude and if it was in in the octagon you wouldn't hear people complaining you wouldn't hear anyone complaining oh wow they put a that's a that's a dope picture you wouldn't hear people complaining but the reason is because Conor McGregor would have a much greater chance beating Floyd Mayweather if the fight took place in the octagon you know what I mean smaller gloves things Floyd isn't used to like grappling rear naked chokes wrestling because Conor McGregor he's not a wrestler like a Chad Mendez or Cormier or whoever but whatever wrestling pedigree he has because he's trained somewhat in it you know what I mean it will be far greater than Floyd Mayweather who's never trained in wrestling who's been boxing since he was a kid you know what I'm saying so that's why people are truly mad is because they feel in this arena it, it suits Floyd the A side and they don't really give Conor a chance to win but I like I like Conor I like his his tenacity I like his willingness to try different things I mean he showed you that multiple people pulled out of fights with him and he was willing to fight whoever he was like he went from featherweight to i'll fight rda who was a champion rda pulls out with the injury he said i'll fight nate diaz try to get a catch weight and they couldn't work one out and he said you know i get comfortable i'll fight you nate diaz at 170 now the diaz fights were definitely tough for conor mcgregor and some people thought diaz won but i mean i still give him his props for taking that fight so that's really what I see. People don't give Conor McGregor much of a chance in boxing. That's why they're angry. But if it was in the octagon, they would be loving this fight. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Because you know Floyd Mayweather, that's not his arena. And you know that he would have tons of problems fighting in someone else's. Like, you know what I mean? It's like taking a rugby player and making him play hockey. Or a rugby player making him play American football. It's just different sports. But... Conor McGregor saying, I'll come to you. I don't care what discipline it is. It's, it's a lot of money that this fight's going to generate. So I think that's the purpose. They both know it'll be career high paydays. There's no one they could fight in their respective disciplines that's going to net them this type of money. So that's why we're getting a circus fight most likely. It's not finalized. Let me know what you guys think. Check the article on the website. Let me know if you're picking Conor McGregor. I know the trash talking should be epic. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sign